Hi there and welcome to what right. will be the last video of the Let's Play of Icewind Dale. I'm Byron. So let's enjoy the ride. That's a big thing. So, you dare to follow me here. I think you will find that to be a fatal mistake. Fatal only to you, Ikezerect. Spoken like a true hero. Shall we put those words to the test? Before we do it, there's something I would know. Why do you hate the Ten Towns so much? Ages ago, dragonkind roamed Faerun freely. Then the civilized races came to power and began to encroach upon our lands. Bloody wars were fought in which your kind launched entire armies upon us. Against such numbers, even we soon fell. Now we are solitary creatures who hide in caves in faraway lands. We fear sleep, for it is often the sleep of death if we are discovered. What does this have to do with the Tentons? I was slain fighting for my homeland against an invading army. Ionan, a man of the Ten Towns, wielded the blade that broke my heart. An invading army? History paints a different picture, Ikazarekt. Yes, and history is written by the victors, as they say. It is also said that history repeats itself. What do you mean? Look at the plight of the barbarians. Even now, they are being driven from their lands by the Ten Towns. Soon they will be left with two choices, extinction or absorption. They are a proud people and will not bend. They will choose extinction. An entire culture will vanish, lost forever, all in the name of civilization, just as my culture has been lost. Some might call that progress. I find it hard to believe that you were doing this out of altruism. When I awakened from my sleep, I looked upon the world anew. And I was shocked to see how little had changed. My lands were still in the hands of the Ten Towns. The plight of the barbarians had not changed at all. I saw a kindred spirit in Wolfdane, so I joined with him to end this tragedy once and for all. Tell me something else. You were slain almost a century ago. Why did it take so long for you to awaken? The Sword of Ionan had a special enchantment, almost an intelligence of its own. When the fatal blow was struck, it somehow knew that I would be born anew. The blade broke, sacrificing itself that I might be trapped. My spirit lay within my shattered heart at the bottom of Lac Dinishir. I can only guess that the blade was removed allowing my spirit to go free. I now hold the Sword of Ionan. It has been forged anew and now sinks with a life of its own. Yes, I sensed the blade when you first entered here and was concerned. However, I now see that the original enchantment was not restored. It is of no consequence. Nay, Kazarekt, I'd rather we come to some sort of agreement than fight. Can we do this? Never! My heart was shattered long ago, and all mercy bled from the wound. I lost my love, my life, and my kingdom. I shall reclaim it all, or I will pass into oblivion like most of my kind. Draw your blade. Let us end this now. So be it. Careful. She casts, uh, you know, Ready. some sort of ice storm Agreed. now. Get the fuck out of here. Better. And now we attack. 
Okay, oops, uh, be careful. Uh, fish appear. Sanguinian King. Sanguinian Royal High Priestess. I say we kill the High Priestess first. Now. The Priestess is dead. Where's the King? There was a King. Yeah. Now we kill the King. The King is dead. Long live the King. Now we killed on the priestess. Time to turn this one down to size. Is there another under priestess somewhere? Royal guards can be ignored for now. Who's casting here? Under priestess? Royal guard. Kill the under priestess. The under priestess is dead. We have a royal guard. Four royal guards. This will not do a dragon. Leave them in peace. Stop it. I didn't activate them. I'm fucking Spear. stupid. I suppose I'm but I did free to do your didn't dirty I? work. Simple. Run away. Thanks. Orders. And now you, you want a taste of this? Kill the god. The god is dead. The second Here I come, and the hells come with me. First kill the fish, and then the dragon. Let's spill some blood. The fish are gone. Hi, Kazarek. You're barely injured. Let's change that. Now you're hurt. Badly wounded? Badly wounded. Almost dead. Dead. What happens to you? Oh, you die. Oh, and her spirit goes to what? Careful. I'm listening. Form up here. Agreed. Uh huh. What is that? Uh, uh what Yanoi? You have my attention. I'm here. I say we kill it. Yes. It's dead. Understood. Careful, don't get too close. We have a Kazarek soul gem here. This is where her soul escaped to. If you get too close to it, it casts very powerful magic. It can turn people to stone and stuff. Don't get too close. Attack it with magic weapons. What's that? Oh, the dragon cries. And this, my friends, is how we defeated a Kazarekt. 500,000 XP. What? That's actually enough for Storm and Goldmoor to level. Now, here's a level 21 Paladin. He gets another weapon proficiency point. What? Where shall we put them? Mm, it doesn't make. Uh, it doesn't matter right now. Let's pick small swords. Does he get new spells? No. And Gold Moon levels too. She probably gets new spells. Okay, another level seven spell. So the only one who actually got her Give is Gold Moon in that battle. Heal yourself. I guess our haste was dispelled Ready. somewhere. During the battle, there are a few items lying around here. Done. <coughs> but I guess nothing too fancy. And the dragon didn't drop anything. What did we get? 
cloak of displacement. Yeah, probably gauntlets of ogre power. We didn't find anything more powerful than gauntlets of ogre power. Heavy plus bow plus one, spare plus one, bolts plus one. As I thought, gauntlets of ogre power and bolts plus two. Here. Okay. That was the final battle of Heart of Winter. Not too difficult. With the death of a Kassarok spirit, centuries of hate were at long last put to rest. The tribes of the North and the people of the Ten Towns sheathed their weapons and resumed their uneasy watchfulness of each other. It was a peace of sorts, for as long as peace ever lasts. Wolfdane's body was returned to the burial isle. With his return, the wailing of the virgins fell silent, and they slept beneath the earth with their king once again. And of those brave ones that came to defend the North, what of you? As I look upon you all, I see you as you once were, as you will be, branching out to glittering futures. Tales follow you, and tales await you, as they always do for those whose hearts yearn for adventure and glory. Though I need not say more of your future, for all that I have spoken of, all that I have seen, shall be revealed to you in time. And we are returned Agreed. to Kaldahar. Done. So now we could actually um, fight Bellifet again, but we already did that, so I guess the LP ends here. Let's take one final look in our character. Storm Fireblade now is a level 21 paladin, he has almost 4 million experience points. Attack of minus 7, <laughs> armor class of minus 12. Goldmon Giant Spade is a level 25 cleric. Attack of minus 5, armor class of minus 12. Has access to all the cleric spells there are. Tolpan Star Sparrow is a level 27 thief. Maxed out thief abilities, attack of 0 now with his bow. And Saldana Evenstorm, a level 20 mage. Yep, still attack of 6, that's not half bad for a mage, I guess. And has access to an awesome amount of spells now. So, yeah, those four characters were actually able to battle their way through Icewind Dale. I have to complete Icewind Dale, including Heart of Winter and Trials of the Lord Master. I guess now I will export those characters and maybe try the Heart of Fury mode. We'll see how that works out. So all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play as much as I enjoyed playing the game. It was really fun. I liked, you know, how um, the game puts my emphasis on combat um, than Baldur's Gate does. But Baldur's Gate will continue, of course. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. I wish you a very nice day. And we'll see each other soon in another Let's Play. So, bye.